Alright. Ngayon, bakit ganyan ang cycle ng mga Filipinos financially? Because our default money relationship is a bad one. No, dahil ito yung mga reasons bakit yung default money relationship natin yung mga bad one. Unang-una sa lahat, we're not aware na nag-exist pala yung isang relasyon between you and your money. Right? Maraming sa atin, ang tingin lang sa pera is bagay. Bagay kung saan pwede natin gamit and exchange for products and services. And that's it. We're not aware that money could be, you know, you could build a two-way relationship with money. Next one. <coughs> we have no good role models financially. Masakit pa namin yan, pero marami sa atin lumaki sa household kung saan ang nakikita natin is hindi maganda pagdating sa pera. Right? Mga parents natin, they also struggle financially. And then may imprint yun sa ating subconscious minds. And what is the result? We will also struggle financially. Third reason bakit ang default money ng mga, default relationship ng mga Filipinos when it comes to their money is a bad one. Our schools. Sino itong pumunta sa schools na tinurong personal finance 101? Wala, di ba? We know how to compute for our taxes. We know a lot of things about corporate finance. Who discovered the Philippines? Who killed who discovered the Philippines? Pero hindi natin alam kung paano i-manage yung pera natin sa pangaraw-araw natin sa mga mga. And then lastly, money horror stories. So sino rin itong mga nakarinig na, no? Ay, nag-invest ako. Iba rin nag-invest ako sa stock market. No? Nilagay ko yung ipo namin ni Mrs. Sinabukasan, yun, know, bumagsak. So, anong nangyari? Nagpilitan ako, kunin ko na yung natitira sa akin. Investing risk yan. Risk yan. So, nakikinig tayo sa mga money story, horror stories ng ibang tao. And that is, that is true. Investing is risky if you don't know what you're doing. Alright? Kaya lang, anong nangyari kapag nakikinig tayo sa mga money horror stories, you automatically assume na investing in general is a risky business. And there is a good news. <clears throat> We have the control over our money. And that is why you are here today. Because you believe that you have the power to control the driving seat when it comes to your finances. 